Dear black boy, it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel. It's okay to hurt. That's how you know you're human. That's how you know you're real. I am Ebony Lewis. I am the author of Dear Black Boy, It's Okay to Cry. I originally started writing this book in 2016. At that time, I lost a cousin to suicide. He was 35. For me, it was a reminder of some of the things that we choose not to talk about in our communities, in our families, and that is mental health. After losing my cousin, I decided to write a love letter to him basically thinking of all the things that I wanted to tell him or all the things I wish I was able to tell him um, in hopes that it would inspire and change someone else. I'm Antoinette Harris and I've been with Jefferson since 2017 working in special education department. A lot of the things and uh, that's discussed in the book is related to a lot of issues that students deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a lot of um, kind of aligns with our equity here at Jefferson and the diversity, but just knowing that a lot of the things that are in the book can happen to anyone and, and the way that she um, displays the emotions that children go through and how they're feeling, especially in the area where I'm working with, with um, special education where it's hard for students to express themselves and let them, you know, let their true emotions and feelings go. They don't really understand how to do that or, or they get shy. And, and this book kind of, it's kind of encouraging and empowering for them to be free to open up and express themselves, their feelings and emotions. I'm Kuyana Polk, I'm the principal here at Jefferson Elementary School. So each week we have bear time, which is be excited about reading. And bear time came from um, our students being in COVID last year and having the hybrid learning. We wanted our students to be able to come back and connect with one another, um, have, be engaged with one another, and also feel empowered. And so one of those ways um, is we invite our local um, community members, businesses in to be able to read with our students and be able to talk and discuss with our students um, and to be able to provide that other connection. Regardless of who you are, like it's okay to feel and okay to express yourself. Um, and I think the other really key point of the book, and I like to point this out, is it is titled Dear Black Boy, and that's specifically because I believe in proper representation. I am a mother and a youth advocate, um, and I know that children's books do not properly represent children of color um, in the ways that they should. And so I feel like this was my way of adding to that proper representation and ensuring that black and brown boys see themselves represented properly, but also ensuring that everyone else sees them represented properly. Dear black boy, be brave, be bold, and confident in who you are designed to be. Joy is the sound of your new song.